Hello. Hello. Thirsty. That's a big lick, little man. All done. I thought it was about time to do another favorites video. I had so much fun filming my last one. Filming OG YouTube videos and even just watching them is so nostalgic and I feel like it's it's healing a little part of me. Like pop off 2016 Georgia who started her YouTube channel. We wouldn't be here without her. And I also just love talking about my favorite things. Like I don't think you could meet a human on this planet who doesn't enjoy talking about their favorite things. So that's what we're gonna do. I have that TikTok audio stuck in my head. This is 100% your look, Carney baby. The way that Belly says baby scratches an itch in my brain. It's so good. Where do I begin? I have a bunch of stuff sitting on my bed that I just walked around my house and I was like this and this and this and this. And also while I was grabbing all of these things, I was really just reminded how much I love being a girl. Like being a girl is just so fun. And I feel like especially right now, there's a big like phase in the world at the moment of celebrating being a woman. I feel like the Barbie movie has really like amped that up so much. Honestly, the Barbie movie is one of my favorites because it was so good if you haven't seen it, like I, I'm not even gonna tell you why, you just need to go and watch it. But with the Barbie movie and like Taylor Swift concerts and like the Women's World Cup and Australia making it to some finals, like I just feel like it's a beautiful time to be a woman. I love being a woman, I love women, I love women loving being women. It's just a good time all around. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna start off with a pair of shoes. I know that these are all the rage right now, but I am obsessed with cowboy boots. Am I a cowgirl? Absolutely not. But is it fun wearing a pair of cowboy boots with any dress? ever. Yeah, it is. To be honest, I would say Harry Styles fans and Taylor Swift fans have really brought the cowboy boots back and I'm so glad that we have. Are these not so fun and cute? These specific ones are from Bellini. If you're a curvy girl, these are the cowboy boots that you need. They fit my calves so well and they zip up the side so they're way easier to get on. I feel like every shoe store at the moment is selling cowboy boots. I just feel like if you've been on the fence about getting a pair, I would highly recommend. Like, I just don't think you're going to regret it, you know? In the last favorites video that I filmed, I had just finished reading the Akata series. Series. And that series really put me in a book hangover for so long and I struggled through quite a few books And honestly, I wouldn't say I'm in a reading slump right now But I am definitely not in my reading era I was so immersed in that series and I loved it so much that starting any book afterwards I knew it was gonna be a mission and I was correct But since then I feel like this is the only book that I could think of that I really loved and wanted to talk about This is written in the stars by Alexandria Bellifilo Ignore that I said that. Written in the stars. Look how cute the cover is. I've also really been in my physical book era recently. I just randomly decided that I wanted to have books spread around my house and decorating all of my bookshelves. And it's so fun. Whoa. I didn't realize I highlighted anything in this book. Did I highlight anything else in this? Also, can we just appreciate the size of that font? That's gorgeous. I highlighted this sentence that says, Ellie laughed and Darcy's chest ached as if something inside her was stretching, making space, growing pains. Oh, I did highlight more. Ellie held her breath, hoping that maybe fate in the universe had conspired and decided she had waited long enough, that she could have everything she wanted and then some. Oh, that hurts. Anyway, this is a queer romance about two girls, Darcy and Ellie. Darcy is very much like a my way or the highway, punctual, organized, neat and tidy kind of girl. And Ellie is a very like free spirit, go with the flow, very happy and bubbly and outgoing. So basically polar opposites. And this is a fake dating trope. I mean, I don't want to tell you too much more than that, but like we all know where the fake dating trope normally ends up. And I really liked that they were both coming into the fake dating situation ship at different stages of their life, but they were bringing out the right parts of each other in doing that. I just love when there are two people that are very different, but they bring out the best in each other because they're different. I really loved it. It was just a very quick, easy read. I do feel like it was a little bit too long. Like it's not the best book I've ever read, but if you're just needing like a quick, easy queer romance, would highly recommend. And I I thought that while I'm talking about books, I would just mention that I just started this last night. It's obviously not a favorite because I've read like maybe 30 pages, but this is my current read, Red, White and Royal Blue. I know I'm very, very late to the train. I've never read a queer book about men, so I'm intrigued to see how this goes. I've heard phenomenal things. As soon as I finish this, I will be watching the movie and I'm so excited, but I'll probably chat more about this in my upcoming vlogs. I just wanted to quickly mention. This is kind of rogue, but I've started taking vitamins like the real healthy adult that I am. And I honestly have to say I've had this for two weeks and there is no way that I would be taking my vitamins every day if I did not have this contraption. Search on Amazon, weekly pill organizers, buy yourself a cute colorful one and thank me later. Like that is the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life. Like am I 80 years old, am I 3 years old or am I 25? 
We'll never know. I'm not one to talk about skincare very often because I get kind of scared because I know that everyone's skin is so different. And just because something works for my skin doesn't mean it's going to work for everyone. But I wish that someone had told me about these products earlier so I could have been using them earlier. So I just wanted to quickly mention them. First of all, this is the Keto Skin Algae Super Serum. And this is my third bottle of it. My besties Sophie and Rach have been using Keto for ages. But I finally gave in and gave this serum a go. And I'm so glad that I did. It is so hydrating. And it's the only serum that I use. So I'm obsessed with this. And then at the same time, I started using the La Roche-Posay Cicoplast Balm. This is my third repurchase as well, and it is almost empty, so I'm about to need to buy another one. I moisturize in the morning and at night using this. Literally, these two are the only skincare that I use, apart from my face wash. I had, like, this weird dermatitis face rash thing. I have it all over my body. I've been to the doctors about it. I've been to the dermatologist. No one can give me answers, which is really frustrating. And I didn't really mind it being on my body until it was on my face, and it really bothered me. Nothing could get rid of it, and then then a friend recommended this to me and I used it and it went away instantly. I'm not saying that that's going to be the case for everyone, but I think it's definitely worth a shot. I've also seen people just say this is a great like under makeup primer or it's like a great face mask if you wanted to use it once a week, but I use it every night and my skin honestly has never been better. Texture wise, face rash wise, acne wise, and I think it's down to this. I love it so much. I'm so glad that it has helped because it was a rough time before this came along. <laughs> yeah, I'm a new balance girly now. Rachel bought me these new balances for my birthday and I honestly have not taken them off since I got them. I had had my eye on them for so long but I have so many sneakers so I knew I didn't need to spend my money on them but also being gifted them as a present was such a nice surprise and I'm so glad that I have them in my life. It's kind of risky because I've always been a converse girly and now that I have this pair of new balance shoes I'm like well do I need these in multiple colors? No. Like, stop me. Like, don't allow me to do that. But they are maybe one of the most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever worn. They look so good with every pair of bottoms that I pair them with. I love the white and the green. I feel so cool wearing these. And that's exactly how I want my clothes to make me feel. If you see me wearing them every day, just don't mention it. Let's talk about some clothes. <laughs> I feel like I've just been loving a lot of my outfits recently, so I want to talk you through a few of my favorite pieces. First of all, if you've seen any of my vlogs recently, you would see me flogging this skim set. I literally wear it every day because it is so incredibly comfy. This gray tank with the gray matching boxes. Obsessed. I kind of feel like I'm being converted to a boxer girly. So if any girlies have any boxer recommendations, I'm interested in trying step one, but they're XE, so I need to know like from a girl. Are they worth? It. But I'm obsessed with that. But as for actual proper clothes, I've been obsessed with men's button-up shirts recently, like the one I'm wearing right now. I don't really know how to express all of my thoughts and feelings about it, but I feel like since I've come out, I've always been stuck between wanting to dress a certain way but not knowing how to do it well, and like kind of being sad or scared or judged that I like don't look gay enough. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm finally at the point where I just start seeing people wear outfits, and I'm like, you look so cool. I think that might look good on my body type. I'm gonna try and wear it And I've been feeling so good about my choices recently and like loving my outfits and that is making me feel so much more confident I went to Uniqlo and I spent way too much money on a bunch of button-up shirts. This is one of them I love it so much. This is a men's extra large top. I love the color so much I feel like it really complements my hazel eyes and my brown hair. It's so comfortable. The sleeves are a great length I'm really torn whether I want to crop it or not. I don't know how to sew So I don't know if I should just like crop it and have like a raw hair or if I should crop it and like get someone to hem it for me. Let me kneel and show you. I think having it long is really fun, but equally, isn't that so fun? I don't know. I'm undecided. I also got these two. These are a bit more of a cropped top and you can kind of tell that they're a women's top instead of this one. I feel like you can tell it's a men's top. I just feel like I needed a white one because obviously that'll go with everything. And I could not pass up this pink color. Are you kidding me? I also went through the cotton on men's section. To be fair, I saw my friend Lang's husband Pete wearing this shirt and I was sold on it. He did sell me on it because he is a style icon. I don't even know what material this is, but it's like a knitted button-up shirt. I think I would just wear it as an overshirt. I probably wouldn't button it up. I feel like it's fun to like add textures into the outfit. I wore this with a little brown top similar to this one underneath, and I feel like it looked so good. I'm in my button-up era. I couldn't be happier about it. They just feel so me and so comfortable, and I just feel like hot and confident. And that's what we're all aiming for, right? I also wanted to touch on my favorite jeans at the moment. I've basically worn these non-stop since I got them. I did work 
with George and Joseph, so these were gifted. But me raving about them for the next portion of this video is not sponsored. I've never had a pair of jeans fit me the way that these do. I feel like a lot of plus size jeans are very stretchy so that they're comfortable, which is great. But they're so stretchy that they start to look a bit like jeggings. And jeggings are not my vibe. And I don't know how Riley and George and Joseph have done it, but these A don't look like jeggings, but B are so incredibly stretchy and comfortable. Like they fit me so perfectly and then I bend over and they don't suffocate me. Like that is crazy. I love that they're a big baggy straight leg down, but they're so form fitting around the waist and like thigh and bum area. I've never felt so good in a pair of jeans. They are so true to size. I wear a size 20. I love the wash of blue. I literally just can't fault them. And I'm so glad that I have these in my life. I feel like I've been talking for so long, but very quickly and lastly, I had to talk about these track pants. In the last favorites video that I filmed, I mentioned I was obsessed with the South Street pink hoodie that I have. And I did not know that that hoodie was a part of a set and that the matching track pants existed. So when I did, I very, very quickly went onto South Street and ordered them. And I kind of haven't taken them off since I got them. I love wearing hot pink, I've decided. And these pants are just perfect. I would say they're very, like they have a very big drop crotch, which is like not the most flattering thing ever, but equally, I think that my body will never look flattering in a track pant. Like it will always look like I'm wearing a nappy, but I'm okay with it. It's got a pretty thin waistband, it has pockets. It says, what does it even say on the legs? South Street, just under the knees. And like, why do I feel my most confident self in a hot pink matching track set? The hoodie is on the line because I washed it because I wear it every single day, but... <sighs> I'm just obsessed. This is an XC track set, but I'm so glad that I invested in it because I've already worn it so much. Like I've already gotten my money's worth. I'm obsessed. I look like a pink Powerpuff girl and I'm very happy about it. But that is everything that I've been loving over the last few months. Thanks for sitting down and hanging out with me. Thanks for listening to me ramble about all of my favorite things. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon.